and this week I found myself with an excess of eggs. So that is a brilliant opportunity to finally do some experimenting with the Instant Pot Duo Crisp and work out how to make boiled eggs the way I like them in this device. And you might be asking, well, why wouldn't you just do them on a pan in the stove? And I will tell you this, it's more fun making things in the instant part. And once I've cracked what the exact timings are, I can carry on doing something else without paying a lot of attention to the stove. And when that glorious day comes, when we can all socialize again, I would love to be able to serve up fresh soft boiled eggs for breakfast for a big gang of people sitting around the table. Now, when I've tried this before, I've had a lot of disasters following different people's instructions. And I think one of the issues might be that I keep my eggs at room temperature and a lot of people I know keep them in the fridge. So if you keep your eggs at room temperature this is probably a good video for you. And then the other reason I think I may be having disasters is that I'm not really sure often what size eggs people are using. So all of the eggs I'm using today I've measured them and they're all between 60 and 70 grams maximum. So let's do it. Let's have a go at testing out how to make boiled eggs in the instant pot duo crisp. So here's what I'm using today. I've got these large organic eggs and then I've got two cups of water ready to go in the instant pot and then I've got a bowl here of iced water to plunge the eggs in when I've got them out of the instant pot and that will stop them cooking at the point I want them to stop. And I've got my instant pot duo crisp here. Now I'm not using the crisp lid but what's important to know is that the instant pot duo crisp is an eight litre instant pot. So again I a lot of the videos I've seen are in six litre. So for the eight litre instant pot, the minimum is two cups of water and it's only one cup in the six litre. So it might make a difference and it might not. And there's only one way to find out. So let's try a soft boil method. So I'm going to use this trivet that comes with the instant pot duo crisp and I'm going to use it this way with the handles facing upwards. So let's get that in the pot. And then I'm going to add my two cups of water. And now I'm just going to take two of the eggs and put those on to boil. So I'm just putting them on the trivet here. So both eggs are standing on the trivet, they're just above the water. And I'm using the pressure cooker lid in the instant pot. So for this first attempt, I'm going to put them onto pressure cooker low for three minutes. And then I'm going to plunge them in water for one minute. And let's see how they go. So that's the instant pot on for three minutes and then of course there's the heating up time to take into account as well. So I've put a stopwatch on so I can see how long it takes in total to make these soft boiled eggs that may or may not be soft boiled. So let's see what happens. So that's six minutes to pressure and then let's give it its three minutes. So there's the three minutes up, now let's let the pressure out. I've got a feeling these aren't going to be cooked, but let's see. Okay, that's the weight drop down, so let's take off the lid. And take out the eggs, drop them straight into water for one minute, and there's the timer. So there they are, out of the water and onto a plate, and let's get one of these open and see what it's like. This is looking quite good so far. The white is beautifully cooked. Now let's see what happens. is exactly how I like a soft boiled egg. So that method for making soft boiled eggs works in the Instant Pot Duo Crisp. Okay, so here we go again, exactly the same size eggs, also at room temperature, same amount of water, two eggs into the Instant Pot, but this time we're gonna be doing hard boiled. So what we're going to try out for hard boiled eggs is two minutes on pressure cook high and then I'm going to give it 10 minutes natural pressure release. So let's see how this pans out. 
Okay, so we're at 10 minutes, so let's release any pressure that's left. Not a lot by then, that's pretty close to the pin going down anyway. Take off the lid. So same as before, oh, we've got a bit of a burst there. One of the eggs has burst into the cold water. They've, they've both cracked actually. I'd say that's a bit overcooked for me. So for the next batch, let's try lower pressure and less time. This might turn out to be a very long afternoon. Okay, so here we go again. This time, no cracking of the shells. See what this is like when we cut it. Oh, that's cutting better already. Yeah, that is way better. Okay, so that is nicely hard boiled, no ring around the center. So I say that's a well cooked, hard boiled egg. I'm quite happy with that one. Do you know what? Me and the instant pot are in the zone now. I'm going to try a 332 on low pressure and see what that comes out as. Off we go again. <laughs> It's all peeled, looking good. Okay. Let's see how this one cuts. Oh yeah, that's lovely. So if you're like me and you just like that very slight jamminess in the egg yolk, this one is 332 on low pressure. So if you've got the Instant Pot Duo Crisp, here's my recommendations for boiling eggs. So for soft boiled eggs, I cannot recommend more. Three minutes on pressure cook low, fast release, get all the pressure out, straight into some iced water for one minute, then serve them up. They're absolutely amazing. And then for hard, hard, boiled eggs on the low pressure four minutes and then four minutes on natural pressure release then let the rest of the pressure out and two minutes into the iced water all done and then for my favorite which still has that little bit of jamminess in the egg yolk we did them on pressure cook low three minutes then three minutes natural pressure release and then out with the rest of the steam into the iced water Bob's your uncle, all done. And while all of this has been going on, it's now dark outside and it's time for me to make a big batch of egg salad with all of these eggs. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll be back next week with another video. So I'll see you next time.